During the weekend of the summer of 2007, I was invited to go to the park with my friend. We were walking along the street to get to the park. We were talking about what was happening in our lives, and when we got there, we started playing around. We played soccer and run and play other things. We play everything, and during one of those games, my friend fell, but she didn't get hurt, so we just started laughing, and we went back home. The day I told my friend that I was leaving to the United States, she got really sad because she said that I was her only friend. Well, when I was leaving, everyone was crying because everyone said that I was such a good girl that loved school and that I was always playful. And when I got to the truck to leave, it was so sad for me because when when I saw my grandma crying, she was saying, ¿Por qué me quitan todo lo que más amo en esta vida? So every time I remember these times, I remember her words, and it always makes me really sad. I, I ask myself, ¿Por qué me tuve que venir si ella fue lo mejor que he tenido en la vida? When I got to the United States and I saw my neighbors, I thought that everyone was going to be the same as the kids in Honduras that we will be able to play in the streets without any danger. I remember one of the day that I went outside to play with my siblings. My mom came out and told us to not play outside. I asked her why, and she said that we couldn't be outside because our neighbors always carry guns. When my mom told me this, I didn't care, so I still went out every day to play. One day, I went outside to play ball, and a big group of people in my neighbor's house came out to have a dog fight because one of the people who wanted to win didn't win. They took out their guns and started shooting up in the air, and so I quickly ran inside. Since then, I never play outside again. In Honduras, it wasn't the same. In Honduras, we could play without worrying there was no danger of people watching you or worry because they're they're going to kill you in other words there was no problem going out there were times that we went out to play until like 10 or 12 at night and nothing will happen to us these were good innocent games and what bothers me the most is that here you can go anywhere because we have this fear within us Another thing that I don't like is that here in the USA, you barely celebrate Independence Day. In Honduras, we have parades with drums, music, women and young people dancing, parade kings and queens on decorated cars going through the whole neighborhood. And here you can stay indoors all the time. This is what I think is the difference between the USA and Honduras.